there are plenty of things to consider when planning the perfect garden or landscaping. Choosing the right plants, soil supplements, and planters is essential. There are a plethora of resources on garden, lawn, and landscape aesthetics, but today we want to talk about a more specific aspect, soil pH. Soil pH is the measure of how acidic or alkaline your soil is. Acidic soil is sometimes referred to as sour and can be caused by decomposing organic matter, the use of chemical fertilizers, and leaching of elements from soil when it rains. Alkaline soil is sometimes called sweet and is typically found where rainfall levels are low and sodium, calcium, and magnesium levels in the soil are high. Soil pH is measured on a 1 to 14 scale, with pH levels below 7 being acidic and levels above 7 being alkaline. A soil level of exactly 7 is considered neutral. Having acidic or alkaline soil pH is not inherently good or bad. Where it becomes problematic or beneficial is in plant selection. Some plants just like sour soil better, and some prefer sweet soil. With this in mind, you have two options when it comes to soil pH in your garden or landscaping plant to match pH or try to change the pH. No matter which route you take, it's best to start by knowing your soil's pH level. You can test soil pH by buying a test kit at a garden center or taking a sample to your county extension agent for them to test. If you've tested your soil pH and don't really want to mess around with changing it, make sure to research the plants you're considering and check to see if they're compatible with your soil's pH level. Plants that prefer acidic soil have different ranges of ideal acidity, but some examples are blueberries, cucumbers, beans, tomatoes, squash, rosemary, azaleas, and rhododendrons. Plants that prefer alkaline soil also have different ranges, but include okra, beets, cabbage, zinnias, lavender, and hydrangeas. If you're still not really sure, it's safest to go with a soil pH value between 6 and 7. In this range, most nutrients essential to plant growth can be readily available. So let's say you're really set on growing a plant that prefers sour soil, but your soil is pretty sweet. You can increase the acidity of your soil or decrease the pH by adding sulfur. Sulfur for soil can be bought at garden stores, but it has a catch. Sulfur converts to sulfuric acid with the help of bacteria in the soil, but this takes time depending on factors like the presence of bacteria, texture of the soil, and moisture levels. This could take months if conditions are not ideal. On the other hand, if you want to make your soil less acidic because you have your heart set on growing a sweet soil-loving plant, there are ways to increase pH levels in soil too. Applying some form of lime is recommended. No, not the fruit, but the compound of calcium or agricultural limestone. This can also be purchased at home and garden stores. It's important to note that increasing the pH of your soil is not always an overnight process. So why go through all this effort and even consider soil pH? Soil pH has a big impact on the solubility of minerals and nutrients. If a plant is growing in soil of the wrong pH, it may not get the nutrients it needs to thrive. The soil's pH value can also impact the activity of beneficial microorganisms. Inactivity of these guys can cause an accumulation of organic matter, which can decrease available nutrients in the soil. If soil is too acidic, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and other chemicals used on a plant won't be fully absorbed, which means they could run off when it rains and pollute our water. So let's get a quick summary. You should match up soil pH with the plants you want to grow. You can choose plants that prefer the pH level that occurs naturally in your soil, or you can take measures to alter the pH in your garden soil. Generally speaking, soil pH values of six to seven work well because most nutrients that plants need can be made available in that range. Thank you for watching. If you want to make sure your soil is perfect for whatever you're growing, besides checking pH levels, take a look at our all natural soil conditioners and gardening supplements. Southland Organics garden and crops products help make nutrients more available to plants and add beneficial microbiology to the soil. Check them out at southlandorganics.com and learn more about soil health on our blog.